Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about Winterwarden's life and his theorem. He was a Dutch mathematician and an historian of mathematics and science, born on February 2nd, 1903 in Amsterdam. Winterwarden's parents were Theodorus and Adriana, and he was the eldest of the three siblings. He is remembered for his contribution to various fields such as algebraic geometry, topology, number theory, combinatorics, and many other fields of science. A rather interesting fact about him is that he was not allowed to read his father's mathematics textbooks and was told to play outside. However, this only made him all the more fascinated by the subject. One of his most important contributions to the field of combinatorics is Van der Waarden's theorem. Here we have Van der Waarden's theorem. This theorem states that for any LK belongs to natural number, any K coloring of positive integer contains a monochromatic alta arithmetic progression. Moreover, there is a natural number n such that any k coloring of the segment of the positive integers from interval 1 to n contains a monochromatic all term arithmetic progression. Here are some of the terms that we will be using in our proof. Consider the numbers 1 to 7 colored in a following way. Then we can say that 1, 4, and 3, 5 are colored focused at 7, whereas 1, 4, 7 and 3, 5, 7 are spikes. So let's prove Van der Waarden's theorem. We will do this by proving that WLK exists for all choices of L and K using double induction. So let's start with the base case, that is, when L equals 1 or 2. When L equals 1, all we're looking for is a 1 term AB. We can do this by simply taking one point and coloring it with any of the K colors and it will form a single term AP by itself. When L equals 2, we're looking for a 2 term AP. We can do this by taking K plus 1 points. Now since we have K plus 1 points and K colors, by the pigeonhole principle, at least two of the points have to be of the same color, giving us our two term AP. For the induction hypothesis, we will take L greater than or equal to 3 such that the Van der Waarden number for L minus 1 K exists for all K. Now, as part of the inductive step, we will also prove a second claim, which is that for all R less than or equal to K, there is a number m such that whenever we color the interval 1 to m using k colors, we will either have a monochromatic L term AP or R spikes. Now for the base case, when R equals 1, we can simply take m as 2 times w of L minus 1 k. To see why, we can see that in the first half of the interval, we will have an L minus 1 term monochromatic AP and the lth term will lie somewhere in the second half. If it is the same color, we have an L term AP and if it is not, then we have R, which is one spike. For the induction hypothesis, we will pick R from the interval 2 to K such that if we color the interval 1 to M using K colors, we will get a monochromatic L term AP or R minus one spikes. Now, let us extend our interval and take w, l-1, k to the bar m such boxes. The reason we choose this interval is because each of the boxes of size m can be colored in one of the possible k to the bar m ways. The interval we now have is from 1 to w, l-1, k to the bar m, where each of the dots represents one of our original boxes. From the definition of Van der Waarden's number, we know that this interval will contain an L-1 term AP of our boxes. Now, this is the key step. Let us expand all the boxes in the AP and take a closer look. 
Now since all the boxes are part of the same EP, they are colored in the same way. Also, each of these contain R-1 spikes, two of them shown in green and blue. The spikes share a common focus, depicted in white. Now since the boxes are equidistant, so is each term inside them. We can also see that the first term of the blue spike of the first box and the second term of the blue spike of the second box and the third of the third box and so on are equidistant and so also form an AP. We do this for the first L-1 term to the spike and the last term, the focus, will lie somewhere in twice the original interval. Each of the spikes will focus on the same integer, giving us R-1 new spikes as shown. Finally, the art spike appears by joining the equidistant foci from each of the boxes. We proved our claim for R less than equal to K. What happens when R equals K? We get K spikes. Now since the new focus has to be one of the K colors, it will match the color of one of the spikes coming into it, which means we will get an L term AP. This finishes our proof of the inductive step and we have thus proven that the Wendell Warden number for L, K exists.